Skyward Sword, Part 5. Here we go, into the mini-boss. Ah, uh, dang, I didn't look up what the name of the boss is. I'm, I'm sure it'll show it on the screen. Skulltola? Not Skulltolas. I don't know what they're called. had a special place. This game has always had a special place in my heart. Just because I, I, I love it so much and it's reminded me so much of my recognition of my heart condition and being unable to run far distances or do lots of intense things. But man, just like, let me play the game. I don't need my hand held this much. Okay. First, we're gonna separate this guy from his the stringy string. He's gonna come after us. So. Come on. That's weird. He just like flipped away as I tried to do the. A little uh, attack there. I guess you're not allowed in that situation. Twenty rupees. Cool. That's what I was going for. God! Some weird stuff I've never seen happen in this game before. Alright. Specifically with the big, big old spiders. Oh, wait, yeah. I gotta shoot it down. Close enough for that one. Okay. Dang.
if I got some caught in the web as I'm trying to deliver that final blow. I would have been so mad. Okay. Here we go. Back into the fire. Excuse me. Buzz off. This part's fun. Done maneuvering around. Take care of it. Ah! Son of a gun. Oh, he dropped something. Oh god! Something got dropped. Um... I'm just heading back up. Alright, no more of that. Even though it sounded like an item was dropped. I'm just gonna have to take the L on that. I've never noticed, but now that I have headphones in while I'm recording this, when you unlock the doors, there's this weird, like, Swooshing or swooping sound when you unlock the, the doors? This is interesting. Okay, I have a neat way of defeating these guys. Watch this. Destroy one of their heads as soon as they regenerate. It's all on a straight line. So you just smash one of their heads, they'll line them up as soon as the heads regenerate in a straight line. Let's take a swipe at them then. Easy lemon squeezy. My wife sent me a video recently. Someone said that to this couple on TikTok. It's uh, an American woman and an Italian husband. He's, he's living in the United States. Um, but so he's like trying to learn everything. And this woman, I guess, said to him, easy peasy. And he's like, what's, what's a peasy? And that was one of their little videos that they put out there. <coughs> Excuse me. Hey, dingus. Come find out. Yeah. Hop on that rope. Go ahead, do a little tight tight rope walk. Okay, I think you're gonna make it. Doing okay. Think you can get there? I'll just wait here for you. But uh look boss, I got places to be. Okay. Can't do oh, I do need to take care of that. I have plenty of seeds, so this won't be a problem for other things I need to do to get into the final lair. I don't think it's the scorpion. That's not this one, I don't think. I'm trying to remember who the boss is. Well, let's save. That's always a good idea. Oh, 
<laughs> well. I don't think I'm supposed to. Am I? Ooh. It is a scary jump, but yes. That's the answer. They, they did need you to run and jump from there. Good one. Oh no! Ah! Oh no! That was awful. Great job, man. Okay, let's try this again. So this part I thought was neat too, and in terms of when it came out for, you know, the Wii. Because it required you to like tilt and rotate and get it in there, like a 3D key, like it's a cool idea. That tornado I stirred up would have tossed and torn you apart, yet here you are, not in pieces. Not that your life or death has any consequence. So you say, it's just that girl that matters now, and I can sense her here, just beyond this door. Yes, we plucked her majesty from her perch in the clouds, and now she's ours. Oh, but listen to me, I'm being positively uncivil. Allow me to introduce myself. I am the Demon Lord, who presides over this land you look down upon, this world you call the surface. You may call me Girahim. In truth, I very much prefer to be indulged with my full title, Lord Girahim, but I'm not fussy. Did you really just draw your sword, foolish boy? By all rights, the girl should have fallen into our hands already. She was nearly ours when that loathsome servant of the goddess snatched her away. Do you have any idea how that made me feel inside? Furious! Outraged! Sick with anger! This turn of events has left me with strong appetite for bloodshed. Hmm. <laughs> 
Still, it hardly seems fair, being in my position, to take all of my anger out on you, which is why I promise up front not to murder you. No, I'll just beat you within an inch of your life. I don't like the implications, sir. <laughs> You got a fool him to think you're going a different direction, and then get him over. Dang it. Well, you put up more of a fight than I would have thought possible out of such a soft boy. But don't clap for yourself quite yet. That sword of yours is the only reason you still live. I fear I spent far too long teasing and toying with you. The girl's presence has all but faded from this place, which means there's no reason to linger here. Goodbye, sick sky child. Run and play this time. Get in my way again, though, and you're dead. <laughs> Container. I'm 
Master, as I just translated, it would appear that Zelda purified herself in the waters of the spring. I calculate a 97% chance she has already set out for Elden, where another great spring exists. However, it is not clear what method of travel Zelda used to move from here to her next destination. My analysis suggests you should take the tablet to the altar in Skyloft. Doing so will likely open a new column of light on the surface, allowing you to descend to another area and continue your search for Zelda. The bird statue that transports you back to the sky should be in the forest you previously, pa previously passed through. Oh boy. Hey, it's me, Quee. Did you find the girl? Not yet. Oh, that's too bad. But it sounds like you at least know where you need to search next to find her. Quee, that's something, right? I'm so glad I've finally been reunited with all my Key Quee friends. It's all thanks to you, Kui. With any luck, hopefully, you'll find that girl you've been searching for real soon. Koroku. Take care, okay? I uh, sure. To the sky. To the sky. Very nice. What? Master Link, when you hit that goddess cube with Skyward Strike. Oh, yeah, I was just, just telling you. Look at that, treasure. You should have marked your map indicates where I sense an energy reaction. Let's investigate the area around this location. Yeah, okay. Will do. Okay, so Beagle's Air Shop. Come all this way, it's so rare to have a customer here. Beetle's Air Shop is everything you could ever want. Please take a look around. If you actually buy something, that would be even better. Oh. The bug net. Many bugs here, we'll be able to catch tons when this. There are some. Only 50. The bug net. Alright. And a bigger wallet. Yes. Extra wallet. Now I can hold more rupees. Yay. That being said, ah, oh, there's the adventure pouch in there too, but that's 300 rupees. And I didn't have that much. I needed those other things, so I'll get those at another time. But I do need to head over to the goddess statue so I can put the tablet in with the other one and open up the, the sky for it. 
let's let's save. I haven't saved in a little bit. That's right. Confirm the location of a second opening in the cloud barrier. It's located in the sky to so the northeast. Allow you access to a new area on the surface. I suggest you fly there as soon as possible. You fly there as soon as you complete necessary preparations. Okay, well, it's also going to require me having a metal shield, and I don't have that kind of scratch on me right now. Slamming the trees. No. Give me another rupee. Yes. All right. Well. Oh. Hey. Kukio, Kukio, where could that child have gone? Oh, Kukio, where did you go? What will I do if she's been kidnapped? Oh, Link! Well, perfect timing. Have you seen my Kukio? Have you? Nope. I, I see. Please, Link, won't you help me look for her? I've been looking everywhere, but I can't find her. I've asked everyone I could find for help, and a few people have said she's been spotted with some unknown person with a scary face. Someone else even said they thought they'd seen her carried off by a monster. A monster! She must have been kidnapped. She's so cute and friendly, someone must have just walked off with her. Find Kukio, please. Please, it breaks my heart to think she's somewhere out there crying. Please, Link. You got it. Thank you. The Night Academy should be proud to have a student like you. Please find my daughter quickly. Hey! Yes. Yes, ma'am. Well, that will take us over to the Lumpy Pumpkin. Where I have to go anyway. For things. Alright. <laughs> this will probably be just enough time for us to get there. See that little that little rock there with the hole in it? That'll help us speed our, our way along. Sweet. Speed boost. There's that treasure from the goddess cube. Come on. Adventure patch. Hooray, I can carry more stuff. Okay, gotta talk to a couple people in here. 
very specific. Oh. A lumpy pumpkin. So especially since we're looking for Kukio, we gotta talk to this guy. You have a gullible look that says you might take an old man's rambling seriously. So tell me, do you believe in the Skyloft monster? Shouldn't even call it a monster, it's a demon, I tell you. But no one can say for sure because no one's seen it and lived to tell the tale. Well, huh, you want to know how come I'm telling the tale if nobody who's ever seen it left alive, is that it? Yes. Yeah, well, I saw it, but I was able to escape by the seat of my pants. I was saved by my cat-like reflexes, I tell you. Any regular person wouldn't have lived long enough to scream. Anyway, I saw the thing, I tell you. There's a great big tree in the cemetery. I walked by that tree in the middle of the night, and I saw it hit the gravestone nearest the tree, and the gravestone lit up. Pushed the gravestone, and the door to the storage shed opened up all by itself. The monster then went into the shed, and then it closed the door behind itself, which was unexpectedly polite for a demon. It was the most terrifying thing these old eyes have ever seen. If you're smart, you'll stay clear of that cemetery in the middle of the night. If you say so. Just very quickly before we go, we're going to collect that heart piece that's hanging up there. And then we're going to agree to bring soup. Why would you do that? Get down here and get down and come here this instant. Well, we're gonna collect that. Go and get that. Go and get that. And we're gonna get that. And now we're gonna talk to you. What is wrong with you? Just look at what you've done. You broke my fancy custom order chandelier. You're going to be working for me for free until you pay off every single rupee that chandelier cost me. Got that? Ready to own up to your responsibility? Of course. That's right, I'm going to hold you to that. Let's not waste any time putting you to work. I need you to deliver my famous soup to Egas, Skylop's Night Commander. The Night Commander is a regular here. He says he can't get a, his day started without a bowl of my soup. What do you say? You ready to deliver some soup to the Night Commander? Yeah. Alright, here's your hot pumpkin soup. Deliver that to Night Commander. Hot pumpkin soup. You gotta get there in five minutes. We take the soup over to him. Let's say that's delivered in less than five minutes, and the soup will get cold. All right. With that being said, we're gonna close out this episode as I'm running out the door to go and save it, and then we will go off and we will bring the soup to the night commander. But thank you so much, everyone, for hanging around and following along. We appreciate your time, energy, and effort, and we'll look forward to seeing you next time. Thanks for hanging around. We'll see you next time.